friends, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I was not going to shoot a video today, so if I'm a little unprepared, I'm sorry, but I was on YouTube and I found a readathon that starts tomorrow, so very, very last minute. But I am going to be joining the Ally a thon, which is something that sounds really cool. I think they're going to start doing one more often. I don't know how uh, often, but this is the first one. This one is focused. Sorry. This one is focused on Muslim authors and reading more from Muslim authors and be more diverse in your reading and showing that you are an ally, which is something that I completely believe in, like being an ally to all, whether it be LGBTQ, um, person of color, or anything. I think we should all get along. <laughs> And I know it's easier said than done. So I threw together a quick uh, TBR for this. I also grabbed a ton of books from Muslim authors on my Libby app. So maybe we'll go through part of that. I don't know. I know that I want to read some of the shorter the short story collections from Sahada Mana and uh, like she has 13 hearts and recipes it's stories based on like cooking and love I think I will put a picture right here and then I have always been intrigued by when Dimple met Rishi by that same author so that might be something but I got a ton of books by Muslim authors so that I can read from those and then um, the group book is Once Upon an E let's see Tantor Audio a division of recorded books presents once Upon an Eid. Once Upon an Eid. So I think that this is also a short story collection. It is Stories of Hope and Joy by 15 Muslim Voices. So this first book I actually finished last week. And if I would have known about this readathon beforehand, I would not have read this. But I highly, highly recommend it because I, I would have waited till this week to read it. And that is Interment by Samira Ahmed. And uh, this was so amazing. It made me so mad and broke my heart. I was crying and ranting and yelling. That video is not up yet, but it will be very, very soon. I don't think I'm going to reread it <clears throat> as of right now just because I just read it, but you never know. I might. <laughs> and then another book, this is another short story collection, is A Thousand Beginnings and Endings by, edited by Ellen O, but there are a lot of different authors. Let's see. So there's Renee Audahe, Elsie Chapman, Laurie M. Lee, E.C. Myers, Cindy Pond, Aisha Saeed, Melissa Wong, Shiv Shivita Fakro, and a lot. So I'm going to use this because there are a lot of Muslim voices in this. This is. 16 retellings of Asian myths, and then, hold one second, and then this one, uh, 
I got a couple weeks ago and I put it on my TBR cart when I was going when I filmed my May book haul and I forgot it was on my TBR cart. I was looking everywhere for it. But this was kindly sent to me by the publisher in exchange for a review, so I have to read it anyway. And this is The Girl Who Stooled Who Stooled an Elephant by Narazin Farrell. I'm very sorry if I butchered that. I mean no disrespect, but look at this cover. This is the author. It's just a beautiful cover. So it is a um, middle grade and it is a own voices type of book, which is great. So I will be reading these two plus the group book and whatever I can get on Libby. I might just show you a screenshot of what I have right now on the Libby app. But I'm super excited for this. Uh, I think it's a great idea. And I cannot wait to dive right into these books. Sorry, it's so late. But I had no idea this readathon was even going on. So I'm so excited that I went on to the live reading sprint to find out. <laughs> watching this quick video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel I will catch you guys in the next one